I'm Nick Kennedy. I'm just going to share a little bit about driving with you today. So it doesn't really matter who you are. Like obviously there's there's physical some physical limitations, but everyone can pick up some distance just based on their technique. Everyone can get it out there pretty good and we're going to help you out today. All right, everyone. So, I'll share a couple of thoughts with you. I know there's a lot of people out there that they try and power the, the shot and really strike downwards on the driver where they're bringing it up this way and from here they're trying to exert a lot of force and muscle it down and they're striking the ball down this way where that club face is actually going way outside to, to in and on a downward steep angle. So if you think about it, your baseball swing is going to be a little bit flatter and more of a rounded swing. And so a great drill for a lot of people to do is actually just feel like they're swinging on this flatter, rounded plane. And that's actually an extension of the golf swing. So if we bring that all the way down to the tee, it's going to look a lot more like, like that. And that's where that club is actually coming from the inside. And another tip would actually be hitting up. We're going to take a look at these two swings right now. Well, this is the one on the right here is the good one where I'm feeling more of a baseball rounded swing. And then the one on the left is the typical swing I see a lot of golfers come in here with. Where if we, we'll just bring this one slowly up to the top on the left. So biggest thing here, a little bit of hands took that back. Nothing crazy, but on the way down is what I see so often where the first move is the hands trying to power down. And then you're almost chopping at the ball. People don't realize how outside that club really gets when they cut across it. Um, and that's what produces that slice. So if we look on the right here, this is the proper swing that we want. And the biggest difference here is feeling that rounded motion where I'm using more of my body. And then on the way down, the club falls behind me as I'm exploding up on it from the inside. So the club is actually coming from this angle in an upward direction. And that's where the power really comes from. All right, so we'll just examine that last strike I had. It was a slight little draw, which means I did come from that inside angle. Um, and we'll pull up some stats here. Uh, if, you, if we go ahead and look at this, we can see that the backspin rate was about 1951. And so typical with that outside downward angle I see so many people have, their spin rates can get way above that, up, to, up in even the 4,000s or so, which is going to really hurt their, their total distance. And also one other thing I'd like to point out is our launch angle there was 11.3. So total distance there was 338, which is pretty good. Launch angle 11.3. My driver is actually just an eight and a half degree loft. So I actually hit up on that about three degrees or so. And that's why there's less spin and, and more distance. Well, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that little tip and give it a shot. And we'll hopefully see you here at Golf Tech soon so we can get you that extra few yards you've been looking for. Get close. Save up to 20% in August at your local Golf Tech. Yes. Swing better, play better. Golf Tech.